Welcome back to Pain and Mike. I'm your host, Mike. Let me tell you, you look absolutely breathtaking today. We're gonna do something special today. This being the season finale of my first season, uh, we're gonna do a black canvas seascape, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Let me just go real quick with the colors, titanium white, phthalo blue, midnight black. We got um, burnt umber, Lism Chrism, some Cad Yellow, and some Yellow Ochre. And with that, I'll go ahead and get rock and roll and go right into the white, okay? Now, the first thing we need to do is figure out where our light source is gonna be. So, um, I'm thinking, uh, probably maybe right about here, okay? And we'll go ahead and start. And what I did is I put a Lism Chrism on here, and I put the black, and because it's translucent, it looked like it's black. And then when you touch it with an opaque color like white, it's gonna explode, okay? And it's pretty much as you, as you can tell, okay? I'm just gonna go like this a little bit because I want a little bit of this right down here up front, okay? We'll clean this up. But for right here. And I put this tape on here to have a horizon line. And all I'm doing is X, it's X, 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 X. And you're gonna work your way out. Just keep working your way out. X, 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 all the way, all the way to shadow, okay? Go up into the shadow. Up into the shadow. Okay, and I want to go ahead and just add a little bit, a little bit more. A little bit more white, and there you go. Just a little bit, let's work it out. And we'll go back over and we're gonna do some clouds, so. Just want some, some kind of action going on here. Very softly. Very softly. Kinda fade that out. Right. Go ahead. Get the brush for right now. Let's go ahead and grab our fan brush. We're gonna grab a number six. And we go ahead and load it up on both sides. Real good, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing clouds. So usually when I do the clouds, I, I hit it like this and then I do like backward seeds. So I go like like that. And you can move it all around. Just crunch it, move it like this all around and you'll you'll get all this different action, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and get them going this way. Seeds, backward seeds, just get it moving all around. A little, little action that way. Okay. Okay. And then I'll, let's go ahead and load up a little bit more. Let's go up here. Try it right here. And then the same. Just keep moving it, swirling around. You'll get all this beautiful action. Okay. Just keep moving it. That's the secret. Just keep moving it. Okay. Maybe just a little little trailer right there. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and clean this out. Remember I'm using that odorless paint there. I have that waste basket basket with the little pole and I just uh Get the bristles up against it, the bristles in here. All right, we'll go ahead and grab a clean two inch brush and we're gonna go ahead and, and blend out the bottoms. Remember, leave the top of the cloud. You wanna work the bottom of the cloud, okay? And just nice little tight, tight little circles and don't blend everything out, okay? Just keep working it. Keep working it, keep working it. Everything will blend out. And the canvas I'm using today is actually 24 by 30. And what 
went ahead and I applied the black gesso on there. And I put the tape around the end, so when we're done, I'm gonna pull off the tape and we'll have a nice black border around the canvas. So it's kinda, kinda gives it a, a frame without having to have a frame. So it's pretty, pretty cool to do. So I'm gonna blend that out. We're gonna fluff this up, fluff this up. It more that way. We got the brush, and then just go ahead and blend this out. Okay, nice and soft, nice and soft. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just put one more, one more layer of clouds. Just one more layer of clouds, okay? Both sides, I'm gonna go right here again. Right here. Something like that. brush again. Make sure we have it. We're gonna need it later on. Alright, same thing with the brush. Let's go ahead and blend this out. I'm gonna start down here. Same thing, just blend, blend out the bottom of it. Nice tight circles. Nice tight circles. Fluff it. Nice and soft and blend it out. Little hair, pop the video off. And just Remember, if you're using that clear medium, you need to make sure your brushes are dry. Make sure there's no paint thinner on there, or you're gonna have some issues, okay? okay let's go ahead and peel this off. Okay. And basically, that gives us Nice, a nice straight horizon line. And you can actually finish the painting right here if you wanted to. Just add some white and call it a day. And, it's that, and that right there is a beautiful painting as it is, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and I wanna kinda mist this out. So what I'm gonna do a little bit is I'm gonna take the filver brush and I'm just gonna rub this in a little bit up here, okay? Just rub it in a little bit. And I'm gonna go back over with the two inch and clean this up, okay? Just want to rub some of this color in here, so it's up in here. And then, uh, just keep keep working it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this clean because we'll probably need that too. This is one of those paintings that you want to keep your brushes clean. If you have multiple brushes, several of each, it will be a lot easier for you. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out, okay? And 
because I use thick paint, I can just blend it. It doesn't really, nothing's really happening. Now, if you have a soupy paint, you know, you're gonna have some issues back here, okay? Let me grab a liner brush. This one will be probably a little bit better, hopefully. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blue, mix in with a little bit of this prism here. Maybe just a touch of this white. Okay. We're gonna put our main, I think we'll have our small wave back here. We'll have a small wave. It's gonna come up and it'll crash right here. And then we'll have it Stay down like that, okay? And then the second wave, this will be the main one. This guy's gonna come up like that and crash. And it'll come up like that. And then it's gonna crash like that. It usually helps you if you can put in a little, little bit. So this right here, let me grab my knife. This right here is going to be the eye of the wave, and then the wave's going to crash this way and, and roll that way, okay? And what I'm going to do now is take some take some titanium weight, go flat, and you want, you want your little roll, okay? And you want a small roll with this, okay? And you're just going to tap and kind of move things around. We're going to work the horizon and kind of work this way and make some waves. Some, some, some waves way, way out in the back, okay? Basically, the light source is kind of here. Okay, so you just touch. Okay. And it's gonna make, make the waves. And you can also rub a little bit. As you're running out, rub it. Okay. And you grab a little bit more. And you come back and do the same. And then you're gonna start Make them a little bit bigger. Put some action in it. Do some of the rubbing. You want to keep it dark here in the corners. Basically, all I want, what I want to do is show the light here and have it nice and dark all the way around. So basically, your eye is going to go right here when you look at this painting. And that's exactly, exactly what you want. You want to draw the eye somewhere on the painting. So that's our light source right there, okay? And then you just come in and you can do stuff. And I'm not doing it, I'm just rubbing the knife, finding spots, you can move it like that, you can do all types of little things, okay? And I'm just, just simply rubbing, rubbing the knife, okay? But as we get closer, you wanna start doing some, some little detail, okay? So you're gonna come in, you'll rub it, you know, and then try to give it some action. I'm just grabbing and pulling, grabbing and pulling. Very, very softly, I'm just rubbing, okay? And that's, that's all you gotta do. It does it. And because we have that translucent color on there, it's picking it up, and that's what's giving, giving you the color right there. Okay? That's it. We've got some waves. I'll go ahead and just do a little bit more. Just to make sure we're drawing our eye. Drawing the eye to the center. Okay. Get something here. I'm not doing much of this. Very, very small amount of paint on, on the palette knife, and then I'm just, just rubbing it out. Okay, there you go. This time I'm gonna go ahead and grab that filter brush to clean my knife. I'm gonna grab some white. I'm gonna come over here and grab some of this yellow. Get a little bit more. Yeah. 
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna color in the eye right now. You're just gonna come in here and you're gonna put in the eye. Now I'm kind of, kind of just pulling, pulling, kind of with the wave, like this, like that, like that. Kind of making the shape of the wave. Do the same thing here. soft very soft and we're gonna go back and clean all this but this at least gives you a little bit of where everything's at all right go ahead and put this down on the drive fan brush and I'm gonna go start making we're making the wave, okay? So you get some white in here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, I just wanna touch. You know, same, thing, same thing as we were doing with the filter. Take this same brush, might as well. I'm gonna go ahead and make some a little bit of violet. It's got a little bit of white. It had some blue in here. I touched it with the red. Maybe just a touch more of that blue and some more of that red. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some shadow in right now. And then when we touch. with some white, it'll come out looking really, really nice, okay? I'll go ahead and, since we have this, let's go ahead and put it in this eye too, okay? Same thing. this out slightly. Now let's go ahead and make this wave, okay? Let's say this guy is going that, 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 okay? And then we're gonna come in 
make a crash. We're just using the side of the fan brush, okay? Back in. Okay, same thing. Touch it softly and pull. Softly and pull, softly. Okay, and there's your first blade, okay? And we're gonna go back and clean it out a little bit. Just wanna get this stuff going now. And we'll come back and we'll clean it up and make it a little bit more detailed, okay? All right, let's go ahead and work the second one. This, that one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my number six. I'm just gonna grab a different fan brush. I was using number three. So I'll go ahead and grab a number six for this one. And then what I wanna do with this one, actually real quick, I just wanna blend right here at the eye. So just like we did with the bottom of the clouds, the same thing. You're gonna grab just the top and we're just gonna Just a little bit. Quick 
I'm gonna grab a palette knife. Grab some of this white. They're gonna come in. And let's figure. Come in like this. Now all I'm doing is just rubbing it. Patterns and all you're doing is just rubbing. Okay? All you're doing is just, just rubbing. I'll make all these foam patterns for you, okay? Come in, do a nice small roll, come in and touch, and just pull it as well and it'll give you the breaking and all those foams. And you haven't done anything, it's like doing the mountains. So I was telling you, if you can, if you can figure out how to use this palette knife, I mean, your world will just blow up. You literally can do the entire painting with just, just a palette knife. And you can see all the detail. You just gotta get used to the touch. It, it takes a little bit, it does. Um, you know, but once you figure it out, I'm telling you, you're gonna feel really, really proud of yourself because of the stuff that you can pull off with this. I mean, this. Now, same thing back here. Same thing back here. Do the same here. Very soft. Go with the, the flow of the, of the wave and you'll get the breaking, okay? Right in here. Okay, you get all that breaking and you haven't, haven't really done much. Come back and do all different types of lines, something like that. You can do all types of stuff. And then what I'm gonna do is just I wanna clean this slightly. I'm gonna use a little medium. I'll just come back in. Just clean that up. Extra gray in there. 
Not too bad. Alright. Get it cleaned out. Kind of make some beachy, beachy stuff here. So let me go ahead and grab some of the brown. Okay. And just put this on here. Okay. Take this and just go down. I'm just grabbing a little bit of the white and going straight down with it. Straight down with it. Okay. slightly across. Just smoothing this out, just smoothing it out. Okay, and once it's pretty cool, it gives it a nice little sheen right there, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more yolk, ochre. Right here. Okay. I think we'll put a tree right here. I'm gonna grab grab a one inch brush. It's fine. I'm gonna grab some black, some brown. Yeah, why not? Right here. Why not? Right through her. Right through her club. Sure. Some white, some brown. 
touch of this wisdom prism in there. It gives you a nice marbly color, okay? Yeah, just a touch more of that white. There we go. And then just come in. And you can do all types of stuff. You can top it, you can go up and down, whatever you'd like. I'm just, just rubbing it, that's it. I'm on the arm, I apologize. Go. I'm gonna grab my liner brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use some clear medium gel. I got the stuff in the tube, squeeze it out to gel. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to fit out. Go up into the black. Make sure you have enough paint. A lot of times you don't load enough paint and thin it out. You actually, you just thin out like very little paint and then you don't get much in there. I have the same issue, so. You just come in and put these, put these guys in. And it just makes it look nice and rough. Nice and rough. These are those little extra details. Take that same one inch brush. I just want to put some stuff right in here, so I'm going to use the black and the brown. And I'm going to come in and pop some stuff off. Alright, just doing like that. That's all. And maybe we'll put some more over here. We'll put something right here, okay? Just up, just like that. A little bit darker. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave a little little pathway or something like that. Let me just make sure they get. Alright. Put this baby down. I'm gonna grab another uh, one inch brush here. And trying to figure out what color you want to go with. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some yellow. Okay, and then we'll mix it with this prism here, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to grab some of this medium. And we'll make it a little bit of a peachy color here, okay? And I think we'll go with that. We'll go just boom, 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 okay? And let's 
see what we got. There we go. So nice, nice little peachy color to go with the uh, kind of the sunset here. Not too bad, huh? Find it's not sticking, just add a little bit more of the medium, okay? And I'm barely touching. I'm basically just kissing the canvas. So there, there's times that you get a little bit rough, you know, and you, you pretend, I don't know, some annoying kid that you don't like and you just poke him in the eye. And there's times you gotta, you gotta get smoochy with the canvas. You gotta just little smooches, smoochy, smoochy, and you'll get these little little things, okay? And this is that time. You gotta be real, real kind and soft and and just treat your treat your canvas. Treat your canvas good, don't treat you good, okay? So this is that time. You wanna wanna show it a little bit of love. So you wanna give a little little kiss. A little kiss and a little kiss. And just give us some smoochies. And then everything comes out for you, okay? But real, real soft. That's the secret. Okay, real, real soft. I'm gonna add a little bit more red. Just little touches. Kiss, 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 kiss. Smoochy, smoochy, smoochies. And that's in there, okay? Leave the d some dark. You gotta leave the dark. If you don't have the dark, it's not gonna have the definition. It's not gonna. It's not gonna give you the the, the effect that you're looking for. Okay. So you got, you gotta have light, dark, dark light. Okay. And you just come in and there you go. They just pop off for you. Okay. And let's go ahead and get the liner. Liner brush, some of the medium. And I'll just go right here. I'll put in some tree or some little little twigs here and there. And you don't want these twigs to be too, too bright, so just watch what you're doing. If you find it's too bright, you may want to, to dim it down a little bit, because really it's basically a sunset, so you want to you wanna not overpower it with these things, okay? And remember, an 
enough that paint could slide right on top of everything. Okay, well we did a beautiful, beautiful seascape today. This is a nightscape seascape. I went ahead, uh, like I said, it, I did the uh, chrism right here and then I applied the black around and those were translucent color. And then all you have to do is just add the white and everything just blows up on you, okay? And this is being the, the last show, the season finale of season one of Painting with Mike. I definitely want to thank you. And for all those people that have have subscribed to my channel. I definitely want to thank you very much. It, it warms the heart very much. And if you do like the format, as always, there's that little button down below. Hit that subscribe. And until next time, until next season, I want to wish you the best. I hope you have a great new year. Take care. God bless.